Hey, what's up guys? It's King Knuck here. I'm coming at you with a brand new video. In this video, I'll be showing you my first ever triple nuke in Black Ops Cold War using, of course, the stoner. Gun is so good. Like, I use it so much, I should probably stop. Like, recently I've been using, like, the 74U or trying different guns, but nothing can compete, like, compared to the stoner. Like, this gun hits, like, a truck. This gun is insanely broken. I, I... Just can't compete with any other gun. Like it's so good, has a good mobi a decent mobility. I wouldn't say like the greatest, but as you see here, this gun is just like it's two or three sharp people. It's 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 insane. Like the attachments I have on it just make it insane. As you see here, I'm already on a huge streak. This is a pretty quick nuke. It's only like two minutes. It's because if they didn't have spawn protection with like the war machine, nukes would be crazy. I just seen on Twitter that um what's it called hardcore actually might be decent so i actually might switch to playing some hardcore nuketown see how that goes at the time of recording this i'm level 290 i think it's insane i literally only played nuketown during double xp and using the stoner leveled up me so quick but as you see in this video it's like level what, 67 it's not even that high of a level considering that was what five days ago at the time of recording this, this is what Tuesday I'm recording, but it's uh it's pretty good. This new season's okay. I mean, uh, disappointing I'd say. Like as you see, yeah, this is reverse boosted lobbies like always. The kids a, was blind, so I don't really care reverse boosting or not. Like who cares what people do? It's their life. They're playing how they want to play. Unless you snipe in the back of your spawn, then then you can't really talk. Then or camping in the back of your spawn, laying prone, then you can't really talk. That doesn't really matter. Yeah, was, that was just a less than two minute nuke there. Died there, and then I think I go, I go for back to back. I went for three straight lives with three straight nukes. That's pretty good, I'd say. Uh, I wouldn't consider I wouldn't consider myself an amazing player. Like I won't go out here and say, "Hey, I'm the best in the world." No, I'm a pub stomper. The way I play. Is I like that fun, you know, shitting on noobs. That's the whole point of COD. If people that complain about reverse boosting are the ones that can't afford two accounts or the ones that are getting stomped. Like, I have YouTube as my clan tag and my my YouTube channel as my name. And I get people coming in there on my channel, comment on my channel, like, you're insane. But they know, like, they're not, like, it's reverse boosted. So, like, I'm not going to say, you know, I'm good. You could think I'm good. I don't really care. I know I get hate on my TikToks. Like, it's funny with my TikToks actually when they just say I reverse boost. Like, no shit, I reverse boost. But the second nuke as well, pretty quick nuke. It's like a two minute nuke. They started quitting. Like, and but all these people connect really quick in this game. I think I dropped in the end of this game. I had like 150 kills. But this harp they added to the game, lifesaver. It is so good. Like, them adding this harp made the game so much more enjoyable. Knowing where they're spawning, considering they broke the spawns on Nuketown. Where they'll sp it's like the BO4 spawns. Like, they'll spawn mid-map on the Jeep. It's it's pretty whack. Considering that they'll just spawn their random times. Like, they need to fix sort of the spawns where the fact I could be sitting in in mid-map and they'll spawn behind me. I've found on nuke streaks from them spawning with me. Or, like, I'll spawn at C. And we'll have C. And they'll have A. And they'll still spawn behind me. I'm like, what? I just spawned, died, like, from getting shot in the back because there was some guy that spawned on the other side of the backyard from me. But it's okay. Let's see, I got my brutal here. This is a little less, a little more than a two minute nuke. But if you're going to play Nuke Town, your best bet, if you're reverse boosting, or even playing, like, if you're not that great, this gun takes no skill to use. I'll tell you that now. Gun. You have the last barrel on it. It's all you need. Last barrel and a 150 round mag, which when you use the the fat the bigger barrel, you'll have less ammo per clip. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I think that's what what it does. And then you'll start with 160 rounds. That's not even that bad. Or 160, 116 rounds. That's pretty good. And then the kill streaks you'd want to run on Nuketown. In my opinion, I've switched on my kill streaks somewhat. You want to use the armor, grenade launcher, and the harp. Harp is 
a must if you're a decent player. Like I, to get kill streaks in this game. Excuse me. To get kill streaks in this game, it doesn't really take much skill. Like you could progress to get it throughout the game. Like it's not hard. Like I'll go and get like four or five harps a game if the game lasts as long, and I get a lot of score. Like I can get like around fifty thousand score on domination or hard point easily if the games last long enough. But when I play like when my team is just cap out, it's pretty bad. But that's not that's to be expected when you're playing with like bots on your team. They'll cap out. But uh, I had all their gameplays. I haven't. I didn't record them sadly. So I'm always in the Discord call and I don't record. Where I dropped a 104 gun streak. After I dropped a 100 gun streak. Like I was going insane. With this stone. Like it's good to control spawns. To use this gun. Like, I would use different guns. But they don't hit as hard. And they don't have as much ammo. Like I've been using the 74U recently. Which is a good gun. Don't get me wrong. I dropped a bunch of nukes with it already. I've choked triple nukes with it. It's just the fact that I can not, my playstyle, I like to run around. And if I'm running around, I can hit fire with this gun and it's fast time to kill. It's pretty good. But as you see, I'm playing really uh, not so aggressive here. Because you really can't, you have to figure out the situations to actually run around with this gun. You can't just go full balls to the wall like I usually do. And I get a lot, of, I get some decent amount of deaths for it. Because I don't really, I don't play smart sometimes. If I play smart, I'll nuke down and sit back a little bit. You don't want to run into their spawn because you don't want to flip them as well. To get nukes, you just want to sit back. Like, you want to hold where I'm holding. I mean, you could run in the building and watch them their spawn. But their spawning isn't as, like, they don't spawn in front of the, in front of the gate anymore. Or in front of, like, the backyard gates. Because they they actually spawn like in the middle, in C like the C in the backyard in the middle of it. So you could wall bang that, and it's really good to wall bang with the stoner. This gun shreds through the wall bangs. It's it's broken. But um, as you see, I'm about to get the triple nuke here. I could have got a quad. I've choked a couple quad nukes. It's just the fact, like like I said earlier, teammates. It depends on how your team plays. Like, if you have decent teammates that just sit back and just chill and don't constantly flip spawns, it's fine. As I said, I'm about to get the final nuke here. And I end the game off really quick. Like, I don't show all the rest of the game because I just died this month. But it, there's the triple nuke. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day. Peace.